pivotal container service. What's the strategic importance of this new PKS offering by VMware in collaboration with Google? The idea here is to offer Kubernetes as a service and to offer that on top of a VMware platform. So this is located right underneath Pivotal. Pivotal is the whole platform uh, service platform play where it's basically opinionated in that you are bound to a specific uh, a runtime to specific versions of the individual runtime components and uh, the Kubernetes offering the PKS offering is a container management play where VMware is providing all of the enterprise capabilities that are needed to run uh, containers uh, in production at scale. And those are, for example, high availability, monitoring, uh, general uh, operations management capabilities that will be delivered through uh, vRealize operations. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, this collaboration with Google really shows that uh, VMware needs to and is ready to strategically embrace containers uh, to a point where they need to be able to say, hey guys, it makes a lot of sense to run containers on top of VMware. Don't run it on bare metal. You get so many advantages in terms of you get to use vSAN for your persistent storage and you get to use NSX for networking everything together, the containers, but also the containers with other services across different clouds and uh, to be able to move them around, uh, to move containers around. And NSX is really a very, very powerful argument uh, for you to go with a VMware-centric container management solution, even though that may sound strange, right? Kubernetes and VMware, open source and VMware. It's, it's kind of an interesting combination and we've seen this before, but uh, I believe that VMware, based on what I've seen, based on the people I've talked to, based to customers and partners, I think they are really all in because they're seeing uh, containers is not just going to go away. Containers are here to stay. And if you do not support them properly, you may in the short term sell a little bit more of your VM management platforms. But in the long term, customers will embrace Kubernetes and embrace Kubernetes containers. And then there's a risk that they go with Docker or they go with... Uh, with Red Hat, with OpenShift Container Management, or they go straight to Amazon EC2. And if you can't give them an argument against that, an argument for staying on the VMware platform, uh, that would be uh, not something, if I was a, sta a stakeholder at VMworld, that I wanted to see. So it is the one and only decision that had to be made. And uh, we like where it's going so far. And I I'm just very curious in terms of what integrations we are going to see. And how it's going to look like when it comes out in Q4 this year. Uh, a lot of people have asked about Bosch and what Bosch is and if now uh, virtual administrators, uh, virtual machine administrators, uh, hypervisor administrators have to start coding and VMware's answer is no. They will offer a user interface, a graphical user interface for Bosch. So uh, that will alleviate that uh, concern that uh, that they have to become, that operators have to become developers a little bit too quickly. And um, uh, there's talk that this interface should come out sometime early next year so that really you can do the administration in a visual environment. And the same is true for NSX. If you don't have any NSX capabilities, NSX will be a part of this, will be built in, and it should be easy to use. How exactly this will look like? We'll take a look at as soon as we can see more of a preview of the of the ultimate product. But yeah, so far my quick take: PKS, it's the right thing to do. Thanks for watching.